Hello. Let's see if I can get anyone to hop on here. Oh, or I'll just knock my camera off of the <laughs> table. Is that Jimmy I just saw get on here? That would be pretty awesome. Hey, Jimmy, that's awesome to have you watching my thing right now. <laughs> I'm a fan. Um, all right, everyone, so kind of continuing my pot, my periscope from the other day about how to eat out um, when you're following a specific sort of diet. I want to do sort of another segment on that. Um, so just a brief intro for all these new people that are jumping on. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name's Carly, or Coach Carly. Thanks, Jimmy. Um, I am a nutrition and health and fitness coach in Portland, Oregon, so I'm going to be doing a lot of fun recipes, nutrition tips, healthy living tips, all those sorts of things for you guys if you follow me. So today, I it's Sunday. Um, yes, I am. Um, so Sunday, I you know, it's a fun, lazy day. We like to go out for brunch. So my boyfriend picked the place today to go to our favorite uh, burger joint in Portland. It's called Tilt. If you're in the Portland area, it's so delicious. And we've been there a few times, but now my diet's gotten a little more restrictive with this SIBO thing I have going on, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So I have a few special dietary restrictions that make eating out a little hard. Yes, it's called Tilt. It's a burger place. It's really awesome. Um, so, you know, I was a little nervous about going out there, but I've gotten to be pretty good about modifying orders when I dine out because, you know, eating out is a spice of life for me. I love doing it and I don't want to miss out on that. Burgers every day. <laughs> so I, you know, my, my suggestion for you guys is when you're trying to stick to something specific, be it just, you know, maybe it's low carb, maybe it's paleo, maybe it's gluten free dairy-free, maybe you have something even more restrictive like autoimmune protocol, um, you know, low FODMAPs, things like that. And there are always ways to make menus work for you. You know, maybe if you're low-carb or gluten-free, you shouldn't go to a pizza place per se, you know, make it so that there is something on the menu you can eat. But it's really easy to modify things. So what I ended up doing at the burger place today was, um, I knew we were going, so first of all, I did a, a periscope about this a couple days ago, is chia seeds, yeah, okay, I like chia seeds. <laughs> um, a couple days ago I talked about my sauces and condiments that I like to take around with me if I need to be careful about what's going on in there, and so this time I actually remembered to show you. These are the little, like, and it's got, like, sauce all over it and all over my hands at the moment because I've been playing with it. But yes, exactly. Thank you, Jimmy. It's so true. All that stuff's gross. So these are the little containers that I get at um, the container store. It says Sistema to go. I think they're actually meant for dressing. And they hold exactly two tablespoons in them, so they're perfect for sauce. And I knew we were going to this burger place, so I put in here, pardon that it's like gross, <laughs> made my own sort of like special sauce. I made it with, yeah, I love the container store. I'm a neat freak, so I'm obsessed with it. Um, so I put in here some homemade mayo, some Dijon mustard, and some hot sauce that were all, like, safe ingredients. You know, my homemade mayo is made with good, um, healthy, light olive oil, so good, healthy fat. And I put that in there so that I had some sauce for my burger. Chia seeds, chia seeds and everything? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's all over me. But, um, so I brought that with me, and then I just looked at the menu for different options. So they have like, you know, 10 different specially crafted burgers on their menu. They have one with like pastrami and sauerkraut, which I've had, which is awesome. They have one with like barbecue brisket and grilled onions and mushrooms and like their burgers are really good. And there are very specific things that I can eat right now. So I ended up ordering a hamburger with a fried egg and bacon on it. No sauce. Um, if you're, if you're a vegetarian and you want a black bean burger, go for it. I, personally don't eat beans, they don't agree with me. Um, like I said, this is all about making it work for you and your dietary needs and your dietary choices. So, you know, figuring out what you can do to make that work for you. Yeah, burger with an egg and bacon. It was brunch, right? So it was appropriate to eat that. 
And then I did it without the sauce because I knew they have like a sriracha special sauce, which normally I'd be all over, but I know that there's some sugar and some garlic in there, which I have to avoid right now. So I had my own sauce and then I did a lettuce wrap and, you know, I got in there. It was dripping all over my hands. It's really messy, but it was so good. I didn't feel deprived for one second. It was seriously decadent and so delicious. And so my point here is that there's always ways to find out. Um, yeah, it's right. I have no shame. I once brought a lettuce wrapped chili burger into the movies with me <laughs> and the guy who I ordered it from was like, are you sure about that? And I was like, trust me, I'm a pro. Yeah, good healthy fat. So, you know, my recommendation is to look at the menu, look at all your different options on there. You know, there's always different side options, different toppings. Find things that are on other entrees, other menu items, and swap them out, you know, add them to your burger. If you see avocado on the different burger, add it to yours. Exactly. And the biggest thing here is just do it with a smile. Don't act like it's a big deal. Just be like, hey, I'm just going to do a couple modifications here. Can I change this and add that and take this off and just smile about it. And, you know, good restaurants are all about customer service. So um, if you're interested in the keto diet, actually follow Jimmy, living low carb man he's on here um, he's all about keto and he's got a great book keto clarity I think keto can be great for some people it just depends personally I've tried it and you know I think I think it can work but for me long term it wasn't working out for me but for sure it can and I definitely recommend you trying it yeah of course I think you're great so anyway that's sort of my scope for today just talking about not being ashamed doing it with a smile asking for these substitutions you've made a commitment to yourself there's no reason why you can't make it work and you have to miss out on social things i'm so glad you found this helpful be sure to follow me and share this with people so that they can see it too um all right guys if you yeah there's jimmy's website if you want to check out more keto info um so yeah i hope everyone's having an awesome sunday please feel free to follow me. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram as well, my handle's different. It's at Carly S629. So go over there and follow me as well. All right, guys. Yeah, go eat your lettuce wrap burger right now. It's going to be so good. All right, see you guys later. Bye.